Hey, what's up guys, my name is Cameron Gallagher and today I'm gonna to talk about how to get the perfect location for your next shoot. Let's get into it. One of the most difficult things when it comes to either writing a script or coming up with a short film or any film really in general, even a commercial, is finding the right location. And they always joke and say location, 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 but it is 100% true that a location can either make or break a film. So recently I've been shooting a short film that has a lot of different locations and not something that I generally would have access to. Massive homes that we need overnight, stuff like that. So I started thinking, how can I find a good location that's gonna be suitable for my film, but that I'm going to be able to have access to that either, you know, someone's not living in, or especially when I'm doing a night shoot and then a place where people can stay, stuff like that. So actually a filmmaker friend of mine, I'm actually working on a short film of his as well, helping him out, and he had actually rented an Airbnb and that got me thinking, is Airbnb a perfect place to find locations? And turns out it is. So we actually already rented an Airbnb for one of the previous days of shooting and we're gonna actually rent another Airbnb for a different future part of the film. Reason being is so many people now are putting their houses on Airbnb, especially ones that have special features to them. Maybe they're unique houses or they're very large houses. And it's the idea that you can get a really unique or large, beautiful home for incredibly cheap. Now, obviously, yes, this is not free. This is not something where you can go and you can give them 50 bucks and let them in your house. You know, it's gonna cost you usually a couple hundred dollars. But when you have a paid project or a large short film, it's totally worth the budget investing into the right location. Nothing's worse than showing up on a location and it be completely different from what you thought, or you aren't able to do something that you thought you were able to do, and then everything completely changes. Now, one of the tips that you need to know about shooting at an Airbnb is you have to ask the, you know, person that's renting it to you, of course, first. I generally go in, I find a location that I like during a you know dates that we need I contact the person I say hey we're looking to film either a short film or commercial um, you know I saw your house and I was curious if that's something that we're allowed to do 90% of the time people are gonna be like yeah that's awesome of course you can but one of the biggest things that I have that is really a good selling point is having business insurance now of course I run a production company and I also have a wedding films company and actually ironically enough the wedding films company forces me to have uh, 2 million in liability insurance because most venues require 2 million in liability for you to actually shoot there. But the nice thing is when going into an Airbnb and saying, hey, I have $2 million in liability insurance, they know that if something's gonna happen, they can sort of have that peace of mind that if something goes wrong, you have it covered. But one of the big things about shooting in an Airbnb is you need to be, of course, conscious and safe about all of your rigging, especially. So that means making sure that you're using things like tennis balls on all of your stands and C-stands, so that way you're not marking up any floors, or making sure that just nothing's gonna fall over and possibly break anything in the household. So anyway, guys, a really quick video on how to find the perfect location. Thanks again for watching.